This doesn't mean we're friends, you know. Yeah, OK. You were well out of order last night. Well, so were you. I'm sorry, all right? So you should be. I'm sorry, too. So I'm forgiven? Well, it's not for me to forgive or not to forgive, is it? It's got nothing to do with me at all. Well, so what is the matter today, then? Nothing. Did you get me a Valentine card? No, did you get me one? No. Didn't want one anyway. Well, that's all right, then, isn't it? Yeah. I'm glad I caught you. I heard what you were doing for Pauline and Joe, and I wanted to add my tuppence worth. Oh. Oh, cheers, Pat. What's this? He yeah, had this great idea. We all chip in and help him get a honeymoon as a wedding present for Pauline and Joe. Only keeps to about it, eh? We like our secrets around here. Your card, or any card. I told you, I don't want a fame in Valentine. Of course you do. That's why he's such a misery guts this morning. No, it's not! Well, yesterday didn't go so well, then. Well, not really. But now I'm trying to make it up to her. Oh, that's just typical, isn't it? You men, you're all the same. You go and do something wrong, then you try and make it all all right by doing something cheesy and stupid, like buying a rotten card. Well, do you know what? It don't wash. Sorry about that. Forgive me, then. You might have. You are a very hard person to please. I've got high standards, that's all. Oh, look. That won't last. Why not? Because things don't. Oh, then you're speaking from experience, are you? Yeah, I am, as it happens. Cynic. No, I ain't. I'm just realistic. It happens. I've seen it. People get together and they're all loved up at first, and then they find a bit out about each other, and they ain't so loved up as they look. And then they start doing horrible things to one another, and they try and look as loved up as ever, so no one will notice. That's scary. It's true, though. I'm telling you, Bradley Browning, where two people are concerned, things ain't never what they seem.